let Hello, Dennis Cometti here for tonight's game between the Crows and the Tigers. Great to be back in Adelaide, the world leader in the number of people around whom you shouldn't make a sudden move. With me in the box is Richmond Titan Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. Tonight should be a great match. They're not playing for Sheep Stations today, but we're expecting a real clash in this practice match. Banners ready for the players. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. The Tigers winning the toss. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. The game is underway. Knocks it down in front. He's got the football now. The spilled ball is collected. Approaching the goals now. He'd like that one again. It was a shocker off the boot. Man Curtis kicks it out of bounds on the full. Lambert lining up. Spears a low ball. Nice hands. Kelly kicks the ball out of the 50. Sloan with the mark. Boots it. Crouch has it. Puts boots a ball. Jacobs collects it. Nan Curvis. He's got a lot of strength in him, but he needs to bulk up a bit if he wants to take full advantage of that. Crouch picks up the loose ball. Running in for the goals now. Jenkins mops up the ball. Clean tap by Jacobs. Nan Curtis with first hands to the ball. Ellis with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Choose to kick it. Kept alive under pressure, but his attempt was in vain. It's over the line. Umpire throws the ball in. Guided down nicely by Jacobs. The ball mopped up. McGovern throws it clear as day. Hooley with a clinical drop punt. Nice hands. Potchin can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He slams that on the boot. He claims the ball. He kicks the ball. The umpire says, give it to me. Jacobs guides it. Dishes it off by hand. Jenkins put his head down, running for home. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. The Crows by a point. Rams assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Sloan takes advantage. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Jacobs timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Crouch has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Jacobs is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game, and you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Jacobs has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Asprey has given away a free kick. A nice contested mark. Prestia puts his boot on it. Martin with the mark. That kick has covered a very long distance. Rioli lines it up. Too far out to score, sure. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. He gathers the loose ball. Runs out of room and is over the boundary line. 
Ruckman vying for the better position. Jacobs hits it, scoops up the bouncing ball. The ball spills to Talia. Talia has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. A good fist. Smith slams the ball to his boot. Knight with the mark. He boots it. Has the mark all to himself. He slams that on the boot. Going for goal number one. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. And we have the first goal of the match. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Jacobs with the mighty fist. Jenkins handballs it, sharing his caring. Intercept by Grimes. He kicks it long. Man Curtis takes it well. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark by Edwards. Puts boot to ball. He wins the contest. Jacobs, it's just a phenomenal mark. If I ever saw him drop one, I'll eat my hat. He gets boot to the ball. Coption marks the ball. He kicks the ball. A nice contested mark. Townsend kicks the ball. He drops the mark. Able to grab it on the half volley. Gets boot to high. Marked by Caddy. Gets boot to high. A great effort. Punishing kick from Crouch. Marks. Slams it on the boot. Great grab. Kicks. Cochin takes it well. Puts boot to ball. Hooley claims the ball. Hooley needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Townsend kicks it. Good mark. Edwards looking for distance. Rioli with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. 50 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Caddy will hear about that kick later. Out on the full. Free kick to the Tigers. Brown with no time to delay with that kick. A 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Grievold. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Chook up a goal for the Tigers. Rioli kicks his first. Richmond get there first. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Nan Curtis, without a touch, the clearance by Jacobs. He boots it from the pack. He wins the contest. Martin is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Butler goes for goal. Richmond get the goal. Richmond in the lead now. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Nan Curtis, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Jenkins runs in. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 40 minutes from home. Lynch takes aim for goals. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. The Crows get back on top again. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. He's got the footy in his hands. He gets another possession. McKay puts his head down and runs in. Floston puts it on the boot. Strong mark by Crouch. Boots it. Atkins has it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Betts marks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. The Crows by two points. He has a few options. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Walker has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Walker just leaves them in his wake. Great goal. Walker with his second goal. That's two in a row for Adelaide. The Crows by eight points. The bounce is dead straight. It's great for a team when they have a winning Ruckman who can really direct his hitouts. The Crows could have had a superb supply all match long. McGovern boots it. Great hands. Walker lining up with the goals. Walker with the shot. Straight into the woodwork. I reckon he's a little bit unlucky there. Rance has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Clears it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 
Asprey gathers it. The loose ball scooped up. Crouch. Grabs it and takes off. Look at him go. Adelaide by 15 points. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nice bounce. The Tigers are only applying token pressure in the ruck. It's just not good enough as a result. The opposition are winning the match. Jenkins with the mark. He boots it. It's a mark. He kicks the ball. It's a mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Choose to kick it. That kick was asking a bit much of Prestia. Gains possession. Jams it on the boot. Jenkins with the mark. Nice drop pass. A solid mark from Betts. 45 metres out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Picked up the ball. Caught with the ball. Spears a low ball. Marked by Floston. Floston may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He kicks the ball. Knight with real good use of the body. He puts power behind that kick. Betts with the spill. Jenkins handballs it. He's all alone in the goals. Adelaide leads by 21. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Jacobs got a fist on it. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores of Adelaide 33, Richmond 12. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Let's see with the stats how both teams performed. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. Nine to three. Neither... The second quarter has begun. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Nan Curtis punches it with the ball now. Chips it down towards half forward. Butler cocks it up. Intercepted. Smith hand passes. Kicks it. A big run to take that mark. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Going for goal number one. He kicks it. Gun barrel strike. Big trouble for the Tigers. They need to kick a few now. Rewalt. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Martin spills the ball on the tackle, gains possession. Jacobs has the ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Gets boot to high. Nice mark under pressure. Sends the Sharon on its way. Couldn't put the brakes on in time and he runs it over. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. Jacobs without a touch, the clearance by Nan Kervis. He can't get it home from that distance. The Crows leads by 16. Not much on offer for Rance. Bed's marks. From this angle, it's a bit like crossing an alligator. Not easy. Bed's just manages to sink it. This kick has extended their lead. Adelaide lead Richmond. Betts can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. McKay Lex. Picked up the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Guided down nicely by Jacobs. Prestia with a short hand pass. Edwards heads in for the goals. The mark missed by Revolt. Picked up the ball. Talia sends it to open space. There's clearly been shopping at playing as a Russ. Tantalizingly close. Behind. A really unhelpful behind from Lambert. The Crows have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder Richmond was starting to fall behind. Rioli goes for goal. He could not have kicked that any better. The Tigers for trailing. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Punched by Nan Kervis. Edwards has the ball. Marks. Kicks it across the ground. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. The Tigers just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Rioli with the kick. He grabs it. Talia slams the ball to his boot. He takes a strong mark. Atkins puts it on the boot. And the ball goes over the boundary line. 
The ball is coming back into play. Jacobs with the mighty fist. A short handball sends the Sharon on its way. Lynch made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. The Crows with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Richmond 46 to 25. The Crows forwards are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Adelaide midfielders have had complete faith in their forwards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. Superb handball. Gets boot to high. That was all Butler. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Butler pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The Tigers will be worrying now. Butler is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. The bounce is dead straight. Jacobs got a fist on it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Out of bounds near the 50. The ball has been tossed in. Nan Curtis. Timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. It's tapped down nicely. McKay with the football. Rance gathers the ball. Passes by hand. He gets boot to the ball. Martin with a strong mark. He steadies now in front of goal. Martin with the shot. It's through for a point. The scoreboard starting to worry Richmond now. Taliak to bring it in. Laird couldn't keep his hands on it. He controls the bouncing ball. Who was that to? He gives the ball away. The spilled ball is collected. Shot by Martin. 25 metres out. Butler going for number three. Well, with kicking like that, you'd have to say it's a goal he would have kicked 99 times out of 1,000. The Crows have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving, it's no wonder the Tigers are starting to fall behind. Hardigan puts his boot on it. Jacobs marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. Crouch slams the ball to his boot. Nice bit of power then. Jenkins with the mark. Sends it on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 50 metres out. Betts shoots it. Football is not and never has claimed to be a fair game. The Crows leads by 14. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Tigers stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. He slams that on the boot, slips through his fingers. Lynch takes a shot. Magnificent kick of the footy. The Crows out in front over the Tigers. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. A dead straight bounce. Knocks it down in front. Atkins made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Guided down nicely by Nan Curvis. Grabs the footy. Intercepted by McKay. Prestia intercepts the bouncing ball. Edwards slams it on the boot. Martin always has the ball on a string. Lining it up with the goal now. Martin has a kick. It's going. Oh, he's put it out of bounds on the full. Talia puts his boot on it. Laird takes the mark. Sending it on its way. He hand passes the ball. Edwards is able to grab it on the half volley. And he's heading for home. No one troubling him there. 40 metres out. Rioli slams one on the boot for goal. This game almost out of reach for Richmond. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. A great effort. He kicks with power. Nice hands. And that top has gone supernova. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Approaching the goals now. No contest for that man. 45 metres out. Betts slams one on the boot for goal. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Crows by 20 points.
It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Tigers might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Jacobs with the tap. He goes for home. McKay takes a shot, misses for a behind. Rance has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Asprey with the kick. Hands like dinner plates. Gets boot to high. Great mark under pressure. Lambert gets a less than pretty drop putt away. Bumps the pigskin. Martin takes the mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Kicks it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 40 metres out. Butler going for number three. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Richmond are really under the gun here. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Kicks it. Crouch claims the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Gets boot to high. Taken by McGovern. He's put it out on the full. Kicked by Hooley. Takes the mark all by himself. Townsend sends one up towards the wing. Goes towards half forward. McGovern takes it well. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Out on the full. Free kick to Richmond. Booted by Hooley. Takes that one strongly. That came off the boot with huge power. Strong mark. Well, when the Crows were able to mark the ball inside their Ford 50 so easily, it's no wonder they're leading this match. Richmond really need to turn up the pressure. Puts boot to ball. Jenkins having no trouble taking that one. Jenkins whacks one on the boot for goal. Nice goal from Jenkins. The Crows high 26. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Tapped by Nankervis. Jacobs gets the ball. Now we've got a ball up. Cleared by Jacobs. He gains possession. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Jacobs got a fist on it. Ball up in the centre square. Nankervis. Try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Floston there to mop it up. Nice interception. Jams it on the boot. Lynch takes the mark. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Lynch with the shot. Adelaide leading by 26 after the second quarter. Richmond should think about flooding back and congesting their defensive 50 and prevent the easy shots at goal. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. The stats are close but the scores are very different. Thanks for that, Richard. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. The players have been down to the rooms now and they would have had some treatment, a talk from the coach and should be ready for another half of football. I know we are. I'll tell you what, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. 45 metres out. The 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Lynch slots the goal. This kick stretches the lead. Adelaide could score the last two goals. The Crows in front. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Nan Curtis outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Kicked by Crouch. Lynch gets the mark without contest. A risky proposition from here. We'll need a big kick to make the goals. He's missed the goal. Adelaide beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 68 to 35. Strong mark by Ellis. Goes by hand. Low kick. Sloan collects it. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. And we'll have a ball up. A good hit out there. Lambert gains the loose ball. Sloan slams the ball to his boot. 
Crouch kicks it long. That's a mark. Betts getting into position for the kick. Looking for another goal here. All eyes are watching. He's missed the goal. Adelaide with the advantage as they lead the Tigers 69 to 35. Rance will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Scoops up the bouncing ball. The umpire will give us another ball up. Punched by Jacobs. McGovern controls. It'll be a ball up. Jacobs wins the tap. Terrible timing by Nan Curvis. Jacobs really gets onto this one. Winning the tackle count is a key ingredient for success, but you have to win the contested ball and hit your targets first. The Tigers haven't been able to do this. He taps it. McKay gets the ball. Cochin intercepts it. Edwards finds the handball. Crouched. Marks it. He boots it. Crouched. Marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark by Jenkins. Picture perfect drop punt. Out of bounds in the pocket. The umpire will throw it back in. The ball is in the air. Hit by Jacobs. Crouch made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Asprey has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. A good fist. He grabs the ball. Jacobs there to mop up. His run up looks promising. Jacobs kicks for goal. Rance has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. 35 metres out. The ball is hammered towards goal by Lynch. The Crows by six goals. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. Rance decides to play on. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Trims the grass with that one. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Crouch grabs that one. Choose to kick it. The mark is taken by Townsend. Heads for the boundary line. Strong mark. A rushed kick, has he? Yes, he's paid it. Puts boot to ball. And the mark will be paid. Low kick. Great grab. Choose to kick it. So well timed. Adelaide for taking their time and kicking the smart options inside 50. And that's having a real bearing on this match. Prestia by hand. Martin boots it. He gets it under pressure. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. A long way out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. That'll be brought up by the coach at training. Out on the full. Brown kicks out along the boundary line. Talia kicks it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Adelaide could doing a really good job at finding the free man inside 50. I suspect that's why they're leading the match. He boots it. He takes the contested mark. Jacobs puts his boot on it. He drops the mark. He heads into home, Crouch boots it. Jenkins taking aim. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Nice hands. Puts boot to ball. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Bumps the big skin. Marks. Loston can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Edwards boots it. Lambert with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. That's a mark. Prestia slams the ball to his boot. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. So well timed. 50 minutes from home. Whoa, that's a nice long kick. Marks. Martin taking aim. 40 meters out. It's an understatement to say they really need this one. The Tigers not enjoying this. The Crows just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. And the ball goes out of bounds. Jacobs knocks it down. McKay hand passes the ball. Nan Curvis slams the ball to his boot. 
He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Martin with a relatively easy shot. Nice work from Talia. Kicks. Hartigan gets the mark without contest. Jams it on the boot. Nice work from Crouch. Kicks. Knight with the mark. Gets boot to Leather. Ellis spills it. Asprey controls it. Asprey sends one up towards the wing. Sends the Sharon on its way. Takes that one strongly. Crouch needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. He hits it. Prestia gets it off the ground. The umpire will give us another ball up. Nankervis taps. Sloan. I have no idea how you managed to get that out. From the movie of the same name, a beautiful behind by Jacobs. The Crows by six goals. Rance assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Sloan swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. 30 meters from home. Walker drives the ball towards goal. That's three in a row for the Crows. Adelaide by seven goals. Walker is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. Prestiak is able to grab it on the half volley. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Richmond manages to rack up another behind. He'll be looking to spot the player on the burst. Talia playing on out of the goal square. Atkins with the mark. Adelaide could doing a really good job at finding the free man inside 50. I suspect that's why they're leading the match. Crouch with real good use of the body. He gets boot to the ball. He gets it under pressure. He kicks the ball. A low stabbing kick. Butler sticks out his hands and collects the ball. It goes through for a behind. Fair to say that'll have little impact on the scoreboard. Richmond not enjoying this. He's searching for his teammates. He opts to play on with the ball. Taliak sends the ball on its way. Choose to kick it. Smith marks it. Slams it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Jams it on the boot. McCabe has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Crouch marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Jacobs claims the ball. Knight has it. Knight really wears his heart on his sleeve. Jenkins with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Lynch taking aim. Lynch shoots for goal. He gets the behind. And the points continue to grow. Adelaide are in front. Rands gets set to kick it back in. He plays it to himself. Rands kicks hard along the boundary line. Sloan looking to make them pay for that turnover. As cool as a prize narrow as he lines up for this shot. Going for goal number five. The Crows get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Walker with that kick has increased the lead. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Jacobs with the hit. Jenkins controls. I can already tell that's not too good. He's injured. Richard, what the heck happened there? That looked like a glancing blow from here, but he's taking his time to get back up. Oh, he'll have to go to the bench for now. Edwards gets the mark without contest. He pumped that one. A mark by Brioli. 45 metres out. A good term with the Crows, 85, took the Tigers, 38. If Adelaide can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if the Tigers contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. The huge difference in score is not reflecting minuscule difference in stats. It's time for the final quarter. You're never a loser until you quit trying. Nan Curtis got a fist on it. McCabe on for the Crows. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Nan Curtis guides it. The umpire to ball it up. Big thump from Nan Curtis. Gibbs onto the ball. He kicks the ball out of congestion. So well timed. Atkins sends the ball on its way. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. 
Sloan kicks it. Great grab. Crouch. Really wears his heart on his sleeve. Puts boot to ball. Knight wins the contested ball. He kicks the ball. Betts with an easy mark. He steadies now in front of goal. Having a big day going for goal number four. That could be the final nail in the coffin. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by Jacobs. Casanova would have been jealous if that pickup kicks it. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 45 metres out. Lynch shoots it. That's bad luck. Adelaide by nine goals. Rands looking for a lead. Plays on. Rands kicks hard along the boundary line. McGovern claims it. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 45 metres out. Kicks. Taken by Grimes. Grimes. He's quite clean. Picking up the ball on the half volley. Boston with the kick. He gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. Crouch takes the mark uncontested. He gets boot to the ball. He takes the contested mark. Betts kicks it. And the ball goes over the boundary line, close to goal. The umpire will throw it in. Umpire throws the ball in. Guided by Jacobs. He has the ball. The ball is thumped towards goal by Crouch. Adelaide by 10 goals. Crouch is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. The bounce. Nan Curvis wins the tap. Terrible timing by Jacobs. Nan Curvis is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Nan Curvis taps the ball. Good hand skills there. His approach looks good. Butler takes the uncontested mark. Let's hope he's got his kicking boot on. Butler has slotted it through for a six-pointer. The Tigers trail. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. One down by Nan Kerbis. Hardigan gets it on the bounce. Nicely intercepted by Townsend. He scoops the ball off the ground. Cochin, a good crummer. Does well to keep it in play. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Good fist. Off the ground. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Kicked by Crash. Marked by McGovern. McGovern can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Jenkins with the mark. He slams that on the boot. That's a nice strong mark. Lynch aiming for the goals. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Crows leads by 55. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Rands boots it. McIntosh controls. Gathers the ball. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. It was all his. Edwards can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. And the ball is out of play. And the umpire will throw it in. Nan Curvis gets a fist to it. His approach looks good. Rioli marks it. Desperate for a goal now. Chalk up a goal for the Tigers. Important kick here, and he's got it. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Jacobs outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Betts with the mark. A monster kick will be required from here. Going for goal number five. Betts just gets it through. And that puts them further in front. It looks like Adelaide had this one in the bag. Betts has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Guided by Jacobs. The ball in the hands of Gibbs. He wins the contest. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He's on a 30 degree angle. Ellis gains possession. He grabs it on the run. Clean pick up by Walker. He's heading for home. The loose ball picked up by Grants. Grimes boots it. Takes that one strongly. 
McCutcheon sends the ball on its way. Launch long by Atkins. Beds marks. Beds shoots. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. That's two in a row for the Crows. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The umpire has bounced the ball. Punch by Nankervis. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Beds got under it. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 20 meters from home. Walker slams one on the boot for goal. Adelaide could score the last three goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Clean tap out of the ruck. Martin with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Talia intercepts the bouncing ball. Edwards has got a lot of strength in him, but he needs to bulk up a bit if he wants to take full advantage of that. Smith intercepts the bouncing ball. Crouch takes the mark. Sending it on its way, Gibbs with a strong mark. Bumps the pigskin. Has he? Yes, he's played it. McGovern sends the ball on its way. Jenkins taking aim. Boots it. Good mark by Lynch. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. 30 meters out. Jenkins has the chance to add one more to his tower. The Crows beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 118 to 50. Rand's waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. That kick has covered a very long distance. A desperate kick there. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Townsend sends one up towards the wing. Gets boot to leather. Takes the mark all by himself. Picked by Prestia. A mark by Blair. Low kick. Gibbs marks it. Works it across the ground. Jacobs looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. The Crows kept taking their time and kicking to smart options inside 50. And that's having a real bearing on this match. He kicks the ball. Atkins with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. Jenkins watching the ball. Rattled the woodwork on the full. Free kick. Rams kicks. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Edwards sends the ball on its way. Cochin takes the mark. Cochin is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Butler boots it. Rioli takes the mark, lining it up with the goal now. Wow, do they need to score. Chalk up a goal for Richmond. Rioli getting his fourth right there. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Nankervis thumps it forward. Ball up in the center square. Man, Curtis wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win anytime soon. Man, Curtis without a touch, the clearance by Jacobs. Crouched with the football. Prestia gets his man holding the ball. He'll get the free. Goes up the line. Crouched. I have no idea how you managed to get that out. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Crows beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 119 to 56. Rams get set to kick it back in. Great mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him. Lynch drives the ball towards goal. It looks like the Crows have this one in the bag. Lynch is a first-class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Effective hit out there. Chips it down towards half forward. Beds picks it up. He's had lots of touches this match. The Tigers woeful. More gaps in their team than a seven-year-old smile. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Crows and the Tigers? 
very one-sided affair. At the final siren, Adelaide played Richmond 125 to 56. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.